What up, y'all? Let's get into it. Ain't about to waste no time, man. Y'all see Mr. Beast is stranded on an island for seven days? Is you is he y'all think he's gonna be stranded there by himself? Or he gonna have his homies with him? The way it looks, he gonna have his homies with him. Ah, totally fine. Let's get into it. We ain't gonna waste some time. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Make sure y'all send me some more videos in the comment section below. Alright, 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 let's get it. We are now stranded on this deserted island in the middle of the ocean. And we're gonna be stranded here for the next seven days. And nice. that boat that just left was our only way out of here. How do we keep going? <laughs> I thought it'd be fun. Despite its beauty, civilization has not been able to survive on this island for over 250 years. But for the next seven days, we're going to try to. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. Okay. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just camp here? This spot looks pretty good. So, I said we kick things off by us going and looking for wood. And you two, we'll prep camp. Y'all got to make sure it's not going to rain. Because if it rain and y'all right there next to the water... Right. That's why certain civilizations can't hang. You know, they try to they don't understand how to build civilizations, literally. Right. We have a lot of information. We got to make sure we use it to our best ability. Right. Don't come. Yes, have fun with that. Come on, Sean. Come on, Taylor. That's the reason why they built the mansions in, that, in so the hills, right? We don't build work, it long. But we have to be careful because that. above <laughs> you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. It contains poisonous tree sap that could literally kill you. Why are we still standing here? And meanwhile, yeah. Nolan and Mac were making a fire pit. That sounds okay. a pretty good fire, would you say? Well, it's not a fire yet. Well, I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. Are you sure that's not going to fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like our survival dad. I'm in cold worse. And while gathering <laughs> some new materials, we came across some wildlife on the okay, island. Okay, okay. Oh, look at these chickens over here. Hey, wait, stop running away. And it wasn't long until I found out why the chickens were afraid of us. Hey, what, what are we that? doing over here? Ah. Wait, what is that? Huh? Oh, it's a knife. Are you going to try to kill one of those chickens? Please let me eat a chicken. We don't kill chickens. Jimmy, what'd you... I told y'all about that carnivore stuff. I told y'all. And then guess what? If there's no more animals, guess who they gonna try to eat next? Y'all gotta watch these people, bruh. This is stuff is real. What did you eat for dinner before you got here? Go ask. <laughs> we spent the rest of the day one preparing our camp, which was pretty simple. I'm gonna show you guys around the camp. This is the fire and where we're gonna make food. Come over here. And this is where we sleep. Hey, it looks nice to me. That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival crate, which contains food, water, and most importantly, a flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had everything figured out. Except one thing. Wait, hold up. Isn't sunscreen flammable? <laughs> it's the end of day one, and I'm already Smart starting guy. to get a little sunburned. I'm hoping to get some good sleep tonight. And I hope it doesn't rain. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter. And by we, I mean dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got I you. Got oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jimmy, you're like my um, Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you on day two. <laughs> During the first night of sleep, we tossed and turned a lot. And by we, I mean me. So it was a good thing we were fixing this the next day. The objective for day two is simple. We need to build a bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. My butt also hurts. <laughs> we're looking for very long, sturdy very sticks funny. we can put across the top of our shelter. They're doing good, though, y'all. They're doing really good. And way when it rains, instead of it drooping in the leaves and tarp, it flows off the back. And while we were busy gathering resources for our new shelter, Mac and Nolan were busy looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, it's a buoy. Oh, dude, there's a net. We can use a net to catch chickens. No! Oh! Ah! Leave the chickens alone. Use a net to catch your fish, not chickens. That doesn't make any sense. That's like eating cats and dogs. Do not do that. Then the same thing. You don't even want to eat the fish. All right, we ain't going to get too deep into that stuff, y'all. We're just going to pay attention, all right? A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! Jimmy, we found an ocean you don't food. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. Did, did he steal it? It washed up on a beach. I guess that's not stealing. Oh, <laughs> that is nice. Okay, I'll take it. For the rest 
rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading the shelter. You go in, keep going. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. Well, Mac right. and Nolan got coconuts. All right. Ooh, those look like some nice coconuts. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Careful, it's a big knife. Watch it. Oh. And of course, tried to catch chickens. I know that's good. Hey, chickens! Leave the chickens alone. Run! Run away! What are you doing? All right, I saved them. Day two is coming to an end. How would you say it was? I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are doing way better than we thought we would. But little did I know, later that night, things were about to get a whole lot worse. But for now, if you're wondering uh -oh. why we're in the ocean, look at Chandler. Because it's the only <laughs> way for us to shower. We need our other water for cooking and, you know, not dying of dehydration. Okay. You want to know what I noticed, boys? What's that? We had 10 cartons of water. And now we're down to six. It's day two. I know. I'm going to be the adult here and just say it. Everyone needs to be more responsible with their water consumption. I agree. Wait, what are we agreeing to? John, I agree for you. Uh, okay, perfect. It's also dark. <laughs> we need to go to bed. In case you didn't piece it together, that guy, Mac, is the guy that lost money in this video and this video. He's basically lost 1.5 oh, million. Oh, that was him. We, I, we just seen you like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, messed up with the cookie after he told you to take the money and you still wanted to go through. But now you're here in the island with him. So that's pretty cool. So that means you're really a close friend of Jimmy. I understand it, Dan. Okay. So you always going to make money. So it doesn't even matter. Million dollars on the channel in the last two months. It's a harsh way to introduce somebody. Even though we upgraded our shelter, though. the second night of sleep was worse than the first. We didn't know it, but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us all throughout the night. Ooh. And for whatever reason, Jalen and I got the worst of it. I got no sleep last night. Probably the most miserable thing I've ever done. Look how many bug bites I have on just my hand alone. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And while we caught up on some much needed sleep, you can probably guess what the boys were gonna do without supervision. Catch chickens. No, let's catch fish. So right. yesterday, over by uh, that debris on the beach, me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are gonna help me make a chicken trap. The plan is basically to put a giant net right here, tie to a string up there, and then <laughs> catch a chicken. Let's go. Now, if I was awake to stop them, this never would have happened. But given the fact that I felt like I was literally dying in this moment, the boys were officially going rogue. And it's right. They're not following the principles and morals and rules that you set. Just like they do God. You told them what to do and what not to do. Literally. And they still trying to do it anyway. His mind, he, once he's seen that chicken, his mind is so fixated on the chicken that he's going to do whatever he got to do to get the chicken. He wait until you go to sleep and then he's going to go get the chicken. You see how these people do? Ain't nothing wrong with them. Their brains just haven't been renewed yet, right? It already say in the Bible, we eat the fruits, right? So why are you touching the chicken? The chicken literally has a spirit and a soul. The chicken is living its life. The chicken is living its best life on the island without humans. And now y'all gonna come here and you're trying to catch them. Think about if somebody came. I ain't finna take it there. Think about if somebody came into your house and took you out of your house and then tried to do something with you. That's what I'm saying. Taking you from your land, taking you from your family, taking you and trying to eat you. Leave the animals alone. They have spirits and souls just like us. Literally, every single last one of them. Y'all are disgusting. Oh, yeah. There we go. Over the next 30 minutes or so, the boys cut the net into a perfect square. They then hoisted the rope up over the tree, tied the rope to all four corners, and it was ready. <laughs> that works? That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, it was time to catch a chicken. What is this? Trap to catch chickens with? Can I see the rope? No, you cannot. Is that what you guys are doing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were doing something actually productive. I'll be honest, at first, this seemed like a complete waste of time. Because for the next three hours, they waited and waited. But for some reason, Mac in particular was not ready to give up. And finally, after even- Right, he the main one who wanted the chicken, of course. Look at him. Oh, wait. This chicken's 
actually pretty chill. Yeah. This is the new Brian in honor of the bird from Raph. You know what? With how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, you'll continue to hang out with us. Put it down. Try to put Brian down. Brian! No, Brian! Brian. What did you do to Brian? I thought he was her friend. Well, I did catch him with a trap, so... And by the time Brian had been caught and freed, it had gotten significantly... The thing about those bears and those lions that been taken away from their families or they seen their they families or the deer, they don't see their families get shot or killed or ran over. Right. The same how we would act. If somebody did something to your family member, you would, you would act the same way. Either you would run or you'd be ready to defend yourself. Literally, literally the same thing these animals do. They do the same thing we do. For those that had pets, y'all understand what I'm saying. Them animals got souls and spirits. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't let these people fool you out here. They doing all these rituals and spells. Don't let these people fool you out here. Especially with the foods. Please don't. They're going to try to put you to sleep. They're going to try to rock you straight to sleep. Less hot outside. Which honestly gave all of us enough energy for a spontaneous adventure. See that island behind me? We're about to go do it, man. Let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Why swim away from a perfectly good island to a rock in the middle of the ocean? And honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. This feels really counterintuitive. I think this is a testament <laughs> to just how bored we are. Feels like we're wasting a lot of water and energy. Man, what are you doing? There's so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray. Look at all those fish. Those waves look really big over there. And they're coming right at us. And after 
two hours of fishing and 200 fishes worth of calories burned, all they had to show for it was one fish. Is this fun to eat? Yeah, of course. It literally it tastes, tastes like, like fish from a supermarket. I mean, you know where fish in the supermarket come from, right? Where? The ocean. And even though this... <laughs> oh, man, the ocean, duh. Like, what? Don't even make it sense. You said where? <sighs> Just because you got money don't make you smart. That's all I got to say. <laughs> That's all I got to say. That's funny to me. But anyways. Fish from the ocean was surprisingly good. It was time to eat something a whole lot better. S'mores. 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 First off, you need to burn the bacteria off your stick. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. You seem like you've done s'mores before, Jim. Well, as a man who owns a chocolate company. Oh, Mac! Ah, what are you doing? Oh, oh, God. Oh. You take the feastable chocolate, scrunch it like that while it's still hot. Look at that. Make sure to try out our new Feastables bar. People are actually liking it so much, it's sold out in most stores. Don't worry, we're doing our best to restock it as fast as we can. You've never had a s'more in your life until you've had a s'more with Feastables on it. Like clockwork, we lay down to go to bed, and it starts raining. Why is it that whenever we do survival videos, it literally only rains when we're trying to sleep? I'd say that was a very successful day for him. Yeah, I agree. You got a chicken, I got a fish. Here's the three more days of stupidity. <laughs> to say that. <laughs> One of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very old houses or ruins, whatever you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located on top of a mountain, I say today's the day we explore them. I agree. Disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins, we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were eating our bad breakfast, Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Over there on the shoreline. What is it? There's a goat. No way, bro. There's a goat. Matt, you cannot eat that. You can't stop it. No? Uh oh. Run away, go! Jimmy, run away! Go! Get out of here! Yes! Why did you do that? He's our friend! No, he's not. He's food. Oh, uh, once again, Jimmy has scared away my food. And after spamming the an animal from Mac, it was time to adventure to the ruins. All right. Let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. You don't even I need some for the adventure. You look like an animal to me. You look like a dog. It's not a dog, it look like a, but it looked like an animal. It got fur on it. That's not food. It don't even make sense. It literally don't make sense. It don't look like food to me. Like, I look at an animal, it does not look like food to me. Like I said, the fruits, I'm like, that actually looks a little bit more like food. Right? And then, and then it doesn't give off all these bad pH levels and body odors and all of that. Y'all eating that meat, y'all fart stink, your boo-boo stink, your body odor smell, you can't even smell it, but I smell it. You stink. A lot of y'all women know that too. Y'all need to start telling these men that. That means something in the inside is rotten. When I fart, it smells like nothing. It smells like fresh air, it don't smell like nothing. It smells like a baby. So I know for sure. If, if it smells rotten, that means something in you is rotten. It only makes sense. Like I said, I had too many aunties and uncles that all passed away from the bad food. From the lack of knowledge, not knowing what to put in their body and what not to put in their body. So I'm not going to let y'all do the same thing again, bro. So those that got the ears that can hear what I'm saying... Start actually practicing what God told you to practice. Please save your life, save yourself, right? We can't save nobody else. Save yourself. Be a leader. And hopefully, hopefully they will practice what you're doing, right? Only if you're practicing what you're preaching, though, because if you're not practicing what you're preaching, they just going to be like, ah, oh, nah, he a hypocrite. She a hypocrite. You got to actually practice what you preach, Right? I'm gonna try to fill these up with coconut water while you're gone. It's good. Yeah, keep going. I'll be there in one second. And what Nobody perfect. It ain't gonna be easy. Trust me on that. It's gonna be a hard job. It'll make sense in a little bit. That was kind of weird. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, kind of like how you lost 1.5 million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Follow me, gang. Jimmy, I believe in you. Why? Second 
I thought this was the mountain. Look how we haven't even reached the base of the mountain yet. Hello, we climbed this mountain. I'm going to tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union makes it easy to send money to friends and family anywhere in the world. We'll be up here. Hey, you keep talking about that, Jim. Hey, right up to me. We're going all the way up there. Western Union also has a free website and app that's simple and secure. So even my grandma can use it? Even your grandma. Dude, you get silent. Because they have been around for 100 years, I know my money got to them, even though I was in the U.S. Look how far away we've come from our beach. Is it, is it a rainbow? Rainbow right there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's awesome. I'm not going to be like a Debbie Downer, but that's the rain right there. That giant cloud? That giant cloud with rain. Yeah, you're being a Debbie Downer. Hey, you can see Sean from here. Dude, he's building the shelter. Sean's making us dinner. Ah! I can feel. <laughs> I can see him. You heard it. He's waving. Is it going to be dark when we go back on this path? Yeah. How are we going to see? Oh, we'll figure that out later. That's going to be unfortunate if somebody falls. Oh, oh. Are you good? You good? I'm alive. <laughs> see that right over there. Boys, come on. Come over here. Welcome to the ruins. Whoa. This is actually sick. Why is there just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this thing? I'm glad you asked. I paid some guys with Western Union $10,000 to move this box up here. Really? Nolan, there's a cold bar in your backpack. <laughs> what do you think's in here? Pizza? Water. You knew that we were going to run out of water. Food. So you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com slash MrBeast. I know I could have filled this crate with extra water and food, but instead, I brought something even better. Matt, does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> Uh, this picture of you losing 800 grand. Now here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro. Uh, why? Why go? You'll see in one second. Don't worry. Now I didn't do this to make fun of Mac for losing 1.5 million dollars. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say we're gonna give you another chance in one final video. No. Okay. Shot. Okay. And this is your final shot. You're gonna give me a third shot. Your final shot. I got another shot. If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was bring hey, back, back, bring back. Of course you're gonna get another shot, guy. You Jimmy friend. Of course you're gonna get another shot. I, I would never doubt that. Man, I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. <laughs> There's some ruins over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not going to let you guys down again. This okay. building is almost a century old. Imagine building this 100 years ago just for a bunch of YouTubers to explore it. <laughs> Whoa, this is wicked. Why is there a cactus up there? Does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone put the cactus up there? <laughs> crawl up there, Jimmy. It doesn't have legs. Oh my God. Let's check out on the other side of the building. <laughs> There's some more ruins over there. This is crazy. Come on, crawl by the trees like crazy. wrap around the wall of rocks. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance. Yes, I would. All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth it? No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> by this time, day five sun was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of... So where did they take a poop? Mm -hmm. Okay. In the mountain to take it all in. <laughs> There's no one I'd rather scale the side of a random mountain with than you guys. Oh, that you. looks Maybe amazing. Maybe the Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, nobody. That you looks so amazing. Honest, I'm probably gonna remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey worth it. Wow. It's been reinforced from the rain, coconut water, meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. It's getting really dark. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're gonna make it back from the top of that mountain to all these woods in the dark. This is way sketchier at night. Oh. Ow. Cactus. Ow! You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end, which is a little intimidating in the middle of a forest. Now, which direction is it? Is it this way or that way? Wait, I can see three different things, dude. There's this right here, and then there's this one right here. This is a path, too. Like, are you I sure? Think this or is that it? It's definitely not to follow me. Guys, I will pick a random direction. Wait, no, no, I, I think it is still up. Oh, it is? No, it's right over here. Oh, it's raining! And we must have been extra lucky that night because on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you Man. sure this is the right one? It is this What's way? I told you we just let out. Wait, Taylor! Follow me! Taylor, how sure are you? I'm 10% sure it's this one. So way. wouldn't 90% be better? Are you 90%? Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go! It's raining! Okay, oh, why don't we choose if it's untrue? <laughs> Right. Uh, what is going on with y'all brains? Nobody knows the way back. Nobody marked. You know how you, you mark you mark something to make sure that you can see. Y'all yeah, don't know about that. You never been camping before. Like you mark a tree, you mark something that way you can remember which way to go back. Y'all yeah, don't know about that. 
You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? The lack of knowledge, man. These people, they so did, they so stuck on the technology that they have no knowledge. If none of this technology was here, what would the people do? A lot of people would be S O L, literally. They be S O L, bro. They don't know nothing. They can't start no fire. Not without a lighter. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Okay. Oh boy, is this bad. He's getting slick. I really don't think we came up with something this evening. Oh, I almost paid plenty. And if we could have been any more boat, unlucky, home. on top of it raining while we're lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. If it rains, it will seep poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple sap because it just rained. What are we supposed to do? Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh that is 10,000% of death apple tree, boys. That means we're close. And regardless of if we took the right path or not, we could tell we were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's oh. sand. Thank wow. God. We made it. <laughs> Camp is right there. We have a rare opportunity to scare Sean. Are we <laughs> going to take advantage of that? Yes, of course. Okay. Oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> we made it! Yeah, we're back! I made you guys dinner in coconut water. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Wow, it tastes like a coconut. <laughs> Why does he keep saying that? <laughs> what, do you thought, what do you think it's going to taste like? It's a coconut. What do you think? It, that's like... <laughs> we showered, oh, and when we dried off, we took a second to look up at the stars. Because oh. when you're in the middle of the ocean... It... <gasps> oh. That looks so amazing, y'all. Really feels like you're on another planet. <laughs> but unexpectedly, around the corner oh, was some that moon. Yeah, you think you're on a bruh. If you, if somebody was stuck here and they like was born here, they would not know nothing else. They wouldn't know about no US, China, they wouldn't know about no war, they wouldn't know about nothing about nothing. All they would know is this island. Hey, it looks nice. It actually looks like an animal in some type of way. <laughs> it got some legs and stuff. But that's really crazy. Think about that. Look at the clouds and the the massive ocean. You would think they'd be like, man, the ocean just continues going. Man, there ain't no more land, right? You you wouldn't know until you actually go. Wow. I think we've been fearing this entire challenge. You feel that? Uh, I do. There's a ton of water on the top of our shelter. I just don't know if that's going to be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. All this water on top of us. Is there a world that can bring our structure down? And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Ah, oh my god! We are absolutely screwed. I'm just getting destroyed and pummeled by rain all night. And after two hours of rain, a damaged shelter and soaking wet beds. There was no chance any of us were going to sleep that night. Rain on you at night. The worst experience you can have on these shelters. I'm so tired. Hopefully it just passes over. And even though this was an all-time low, our only option was to wait this thing out. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, the rain last night was pretty brutal. I don't know if I've ever been that cold. Uh... What do you want to do today, Nolan? <laughs> you don't take cold shit out Absolutely Dad. nothing. I just can't wait to get out of here. This place hey. sucks a lot, I'm not gonna lie. You don't take I'm ice sick. baths? Uh, tell you all, boy. Y'all men build differently. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I thought all men wanted to be the best man that they can be. And it's just like, I don't get it no more, bro. Y'all hung around these women and they just, ooh. They made y'all so soft. <laughs> I, as soon as it start raining, I go outside in the rain. I want to go dance in the rain. Purple rain, man. That's blessings, man. I know that the fruit and everything else can nourish because of the water. I mean, that's what helps everything grow. You know what I'm saying? The sun come out now. I'm in the sun. And, and some of y'all just, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm tired. 
at this point, the island was making us miserable. This is quickly turning into a little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. There's only so much bagged food you can drink and hours you can lay in the sun before you start to just feel terrible. And I'm starting to feel terrible. I have a headache. I am very tired. It was clear that we were going to have to take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Wanna uh, look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, we treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Not bad, bro. For a And with the help of this unorthodox breakfast, we were beginning to return back to normal. <laughs> and it became clear how exactly we were going to survive day six by having fun with each other. This peach cobbler is bread, this peaches is a fruit, and sugar. Duh, that's what I'm saying. That's my whole point. That's my whole point to this whole entire thing. That's my whole point. The fruits will save you, literally. The fruits also will help you get all that crap up out of you, right? Everybody knows that. Get your smoothies. Everybody knows that. But why are the people not doing it though? Everybody know that, but why are the people not actually doing that? That is the question, right? And I began to realize, even though we've all done a lot of suffering, this whole trip has been filled with a lot of fun and adventure. Moments like these are hard to find. And when I look back on this challenge, we probably won't remember the bad times as much as we will the good. It's kind of cool. And with day six of our challenge finally coming to an end, we're celebrating our final night with a massive fire. Nah, remember we did move the bed and put it on the floor. That was it. Yeah, we're getting that. We wake up tomorrow. The challenge will be over. And as the sun rose on day seven, okay. we broke down camp and cleaned up with one thing in mind: oh, leaving this still place and to never her. coming back. And before we leave, I just want to take the time to say thank you all for watching. All of ah, you are the only reason videos like this around. exist, and I really hope you all enjoy. I said just let it on your seat and then just let it go. Oh, you did bring it to your house. Oh, gosh.